Hello, Sparky, SparkyOnline.com. How are you guys doing this morning? Uh, I'm doing another rooftop uh, video here. And this particular video, what I have is the walk-in uh, condenser unit, uh, or a condenser unit for a walk-in uh, cooler is what this is. And basically I have my uh, uh, single phase pull-out disconnect here and we went down with a piece of seal tight and just strapped it along the uh, refrigeration lines there and tied it into the control panel and here's the inside of the disconnect and uh, the guy that I had wire this he was just an apprentice and when he originally did this um, he had the lines and the loads mixed up. Not all disconnects are the same, so you have to pay attention here. This particular one is you have uh, the line and the load on each side. So you've got your uh, one line coming in here, and you've got your other line coming in, and then you've got your load going out to your uh, refrigeration unit. This particular unit is running at uh, max fuse size of 25 amps, so we've got number 10 wires in here on a uh, 30 amp uh, circuit breaker. We just came through the back of the wall and mounted into the disconnect and ran some uh, uh, plastic seal tight on out there to the disconnect like I showed in the previous picture. This is your fuse holder here. I didn't have any fuses when I uh, snapped this picture but anyway you just put your fuses in there on each side and once again it was a 25 amp max fuse so that's what size will go in there and then you just plug that in one direction you, you plug it in and it's in the off position and the line and the load excuse me the line and the load there uh, wouldn't make any contact so if you flip that upside down those forks of the uh, the fuse block holder there would actually be up top so you wouldn't be making any connection in there so that'd be in the off position um, and then when you do flip it back around then you go ahead and plug it in and that makes your connection which runs through these two fuses. Here's the inside of the control panel. As far as electrician is concerned there's only uh, a couple connections here that you need to be concerned with. Up here this control box actually came with a ground lug so we were able to just tie right onto the ground lug there and you have a line and a load or I'm sorry your um, you just have your line coming in that's all you need to worry about all this stuff is is pre-wired from the factory we didn't have to do anything else in there just land the um, the line side of the disconnect there this tells you your information um, there's quite a bit of information here but the biggest thing that you really need to pay attention to is your max fuse size which is 25 your max circuit breaker which is 25 that's if you use the circuit breaker as the the protection if we're not we're using the fuses as protection okay so uh, with the fuse size of 25 we're on a 30 amp breaker the 30 amp breaker is protecting the wire the fuses are protecting the equipment here's your wiring diagram on the inside once again the only thing that you really need to pay attention to is these dotted lines right here and you've got your ground and then you've got your your two phases coming in line one line two and it, it'll go down and actually tell you where you want to land your your wiring at on there so there's an L1 and an L2 the rest of this is all uh, like I said is pre-wired so that's really all there is to wiring one of these walk-in units. Uh, you don't need to know a whole lot other than make sure you have your line and your load correct, your fuse size correct, the size of your disconnect correct, and obviously your voltage correctly. So um, one of the things you really, I'll go back over this one more time, is when you go to order your disconnects, when you go to wire things, pull your wire and everything else, uh, verify what uh, what your amperages here. If uh, if your prints call out for a, a 30 amp or let's say it calls out for a, a 
a 20 amp and you wire it all 20 amp and then you go up on the roof and you find out that it's actually 25 you're gonna have to repull all your wire so um, try and verify all of your equipment prior to rough in stage so it's probably a pretty good practice so hope this will help somebody out a little bit you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you later